So hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the first UI Spotlight in 2015 for World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor and today we're gonna take a look at the good old supervillain UI. I've already made a video about this one but it was in Mist of Pandaria and supervillain UI has been updated for Warlords of Draenor. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the link that's in the description below this video and we're gonna click the download button. By the way, this UI is very easy to set up and just play with. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to a downloads folder. You're going to open up the supervillain UI folder and you're going to copy the fonts and interface folders into your World of Warcraft folder. Now, before you go into the game and have a bunch of fun with this very stylized and good looking UI, make sure all those add-ons are enabled. Now, once you do log into the game, you'll be presented with this wonderful menu. Now, you will also be presented with some wonderful music, which I'm too afraid to play because of copyright. So this menu does one thing and it does it really, really well. It allows you to set up basically the entire UI. Now, should you choose to change some of these things afterwards, you can do this via this fellow, which is also incorporated into the UI. And I think that's the best way of doing things, right? Have something funny, something interactive like this guy. The character in the middle will change everything time and you can click on a bunch of buttons and deal with a bunch of options without having to go through kind of you know boring options which usually add-ons have. The one downside which I shouldn't really call a downside with this is that the UI did not remember my key bindings from my previous UI but that is kind of understandable because you're not very likely to have this bar set up in your previous UI maybe you're even using the default Blizzard UI so I would not really call that a downside, just something you have to deal with, and it's really easy to deal with. By the way, there is also a more in-depth options menu for you if you want to customize things even further. This UI also comes with a bag add-on, which I forgot to record, silly silly me, but I think it's Bagnon or something like that. It's the most popular add-on on the Curse website. So overall, I really like Supervillain UI. I, re I liked it in Mr. Pandaria as well. It is very stylized, but then, you know, then again, it is called Supervillain UI. No, very boring, meh UI for boring people. Now, this could be considered a competent UI, even for rating. If you add something like uh, Tell Me When, even though I would probably recommend Weak Aura, so you can make it more stylized to fit the theme. If you add something like Skada, Big Wigs, you know, Recount, what do you really want? You can add a couple of add-ons and it would work as a rating UI. So there you go, Supervillain UI. Go and download it if you're fancying the look of it and I thank you all for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye. So hello and welcome, people of the internet, to the first UI Spotlight for 2014. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dement.